we might have something here. Your phone's working? Yes. If it, yep, there it is. All right. Wait, is that my mic? I don't know. Let's try this. Here. We have a person watching. Hello. Finally. There we are. Okay, you're, you're good to go. All right, we'll take it. Hello! Holy crap, with the technical difficulties this morning. Um, just had a few issues, so apologize for the lateness at the start of the video. Appreciate those of you that were on time. Um, but let's get this thing going. Um, today, what am I wearing? Okay, this is my favorite hat. I knit this up last year. Uh, it's called the Perky Little Hat by Sharon Lynch. Something along those lines. Okay, I got it. Hey, Tracy. Sorry about that. Diana, thanks for coming in to watch. Hello, Virginia. Look at that. I got Chadwick's phone today so I can see all the little messages popping up. All right, so anyhow, this is my adorable little hat, and I just love it. I love it, and I wanted to wear it today because we just got in our new pom-poms or uh from toft and so i wanted to be able to show those off because i put them on this fancy little hat so we're going to talk more about pom-poms in a little bit what was the yarn i'm sure you want to know yes barbara finally sorry um i actually couldn't remember the yarn and so um chadwick suggested maybe it was hedgehog and that could be but the pattern calls for a bulky um and so, it actually, the pattern uh, is knit up in Malabrigo Rasta. We have some of that. We have a couple of colors in this, and then we have a couple of colors right now in the caracal. Um, so that would work great for this hat. And I thought, you know, you could probably even take a worsted and run it. Uh, hi, Virginia. You could run uh, two strands, and so I thought this cumulus might be a nice one. It would be very, very soft. So there's all kinds of options, and it's a fantastic hat. I love it. Um, so that is what I'm wearing. What am I knitting? So it's super top secret. All right. I'm going to show you, I can't talk a lot about it. So I apologize that. Thank you, Natalia. Uh, but you know, it's what I'm knitting right now. Um, and it is a garment for the sweater weather get together that is coming up in October. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. Um, and so this is what I've been working on. Can't tell you too much about it. It's a brand new yarn. Uh, I can tell you it's a DK weight. I'll let you know that. <laughs> um, anyhow, it is uh, knitting up beautifully. I am very much enjoying the yarn and it's just gonna be a great uh, all around good hardy DK. So I'm excited to bring that in. It'll be one of the three that we announced at the Sweater Weather Get Together this year. More details on that to come. All right, next. Next, we're gonna go and talk to Chadwick. Because <laughs> Chadwick uh, just knit up something recently in one of our brand new yarns. And he, um, do you want me to, are you, oh, Chadwick's coming in. So I'm gonna turn it over to Chadwick. So. Here's the thing that I knit up. Yes, a lot of we talked about last video. Um, this is made out of our, uh, hang on a second, let me get the yarn. I'm gonna get the yarn. Okay. We'll talk about it. Anyway, so this is, uh, the, the pattern itself is called Drapey Cowl, and it's two strands held together. Um, this yarn knits up pretty nice. It's the, the our first adventure into, um, post-consumer recycled product. So this is the color that I use to make this. Um, I The pattern I chose, I don't know that this yarn was a perfect fit for that type of pattern because it needs to be more drapey. As you can see, it stands up really well on its own. I feel like I should be in a sci-fi um, a sci-fi movie or something with this collar or <laughs> period piece at least. Anyway, 
Um, so uh, we, the kit that we have this week has a pattern specifically for this kind of yarn. So it will work a lot better, um, but it works up really nice. It's really soft. Um, uh, what else? So this particular thing took, um, this particular cowl took three of these, held two, uh, two strands. Um, yeah, it was a really quick knit. It took me two and a half days of evenings. Um, but it comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, same green kind of, but with a different um, mohair. I think it's uh, pink or red, maybe. Um, they are kind of bright colors, so there, there's nothing subtle about this stuff. Uh, this is like an orange with a blue um, haze, uh, halo to it. Hot pink with, uh, looks like a little bit of a different color of hot pink. This would be pretty. For those of us that like to wear day glows to look tan. <laughs> and then these two, uh, yellow with red and orange with red. So again, it knits up really nice. It's soft, um, but it's really kind of, um, you know, stiff. So uh, the pattern that is in the kit will work much, much better for it. Uh, this is very warm, so that is also a positive because, um, yeah, when it gets cold, this will be nice to have. So, but it stretches. So if you made it a little bit wider, you could probably pull it down to be a shoulder thingy as well. Um, yeah, I'm a at a loss for words of what that's called. So, but just so that you know, here's the details. Um, it's an 80, uh, 50 gram ball, uh, about 90 something yards, uh, 85 meters. I'm not good at conversion math on the fly like this. Um, let's see. Uh, just be careful because the way that the fibers are put together, the, it does split a little bit. So be mindful of where you're sticking your needle. 65% um, polyester, 33% merino wool, extra fine. So it is really soft. Anyway, um, that's about it. Oh, it's very warm. A little warm for this type of weather. But it holds its shape pretty good. It knit up really nice. Um, probably don't need to um, block it because of the acrylic content. But anyway, there you go. I did this. <laughs> I'm gonna hand you back to Carolyn. And thank you so much, Chadwick. I love it when he hammers those little projects out. That yarn is super fun. I was really excited when I saw it because of the super cool halo and stuff like this blue and green. Um, I thought it would be really fun. It can make some really cute, you know, scarves and hats for kids and stuff. Uh, so anyhow, please come in and check it out. Uh, it's a little adventure into some recycled materials and trying those out. Um, what is next on our list? So today we were going to have the beautiful Chelsea Walker in, um, cause she's doing, we have another Acidville trunk show, uh, doing a couple of her, uh, yarns and I think one of them we were uh, anticipating or waiting on um, anyhow uh, unfortunately Chelsea was not feeling well today and so she uh, opted to stay home uh, and we hope and wish that you uh, are feeling much better uh, and taking good care of yourself Chelsea so anyhow we're gonna talk a little bit about um, acid veil okay so that's all backwards Gotta love that. So she has the Italian Delight Silky Cash Merino Sock Yarn. 75% uh, superwash, 15% cashmere, and then the rest in silk. 435 yards. Look at that gorgeous blue green color. I just love this. This is one of my favorite colors. I don't know if you could tell. I have many, many favorite colors. Um, her second one is called Cream Puff MCN, and it's a DK. Uh, 230 yards, and it's a, a 80% uh, merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. So this is kind of fun with the blues and the browns, little greens. Anyhow, she has lots and lots of gorgeous choices. Since I do have a phone now, I think I'm going to take you on a quick walkabout, and we are going to take a look at these yarns a little bit closer. Here we go. 
All right, and this one is the DK. Oops, sorry. There we go. This one is the cream puff, I believe. Let's take a look and make sure. Ha <laughs> no, it is the Italian. Uh, delight, sock weight. Duh. But look at those colors. I love it. Now we're moving into the cream puff. Some greens. This one is a fun one. Somebody's going to do some fun stuff there. And this gorgeous yellow, which I'm kind of excited about this time of year. Everything's turning that beautiful golden yellow. Some purples. Better move slower. Chadwick tells me I can make people sick. <laughs> Trying to go slower. Eating up some time though. Awkward pauses. I wish Chelsea was here. I hope she's feeling better. Okay, here we're going back into the uh, sock weight. I kind of started you in the middle of it, but lots and lots of gorgeous colors. So come on in and check it out. Get yourself some acid veil. Um, and the last time Chelsea was here, I don't know if you, uh, for those of you that tuned in or watched the video, remember she had talked about uh, a uh, organization that's near and dear to her heart um called happy jack and she takes in uh and fosters kittens and rehomes them finds new homes for them and so we had uh, uh we were going to um put 10 percent of the proceeds from the sale of those trunk show or that trunk show to happy jack and so i'm happy to announce today that we wrote a hundred dollar check and we'll be sending it over to happy jack to help with all the cute little kittens so thank you for that, for all of you that bought uh, Acid Veil yarn. Um, you helped contribute to that, so thank you. Um, on to a couple of new things. A friend of mine sent me a link the other day from the Wool Growers Association here in Idaho. And they are looking to do an art installment. And so they're looking for 500 plus knit or crocheted rectangles, one foot by two foot. Um, and it can be any stitch pattern you want, um, any color you want. I think uh, the more variety, the better, although they do want some solid stuff as well. Um, and they've, uh, all they ask for is that it has to be a wool or a wool blend yarn. So if you happen to have some yarn in your stash, a little bit left over from a project, love for you to knit or crochet up these rectangles and bring them in and we will get them to the Wool Growers Association. Um, oh, and she says, please keep a long tail on them because they'll use those to, uh, I would imagine, to sew this thing up. Um, and we need them in by January so they can get their project done. And 25 U bucks goes to whoever hands in the most. So for more details, Chadwick put a link in there. Click on that. Um, and please bring them in and we'll start tallying your numbers up. So next. We're getting a lot of new product in right now. I apologize, my glasses are kind of, I do that and I can't read what you're typing. Stacy, Carolyn, can you talk about your palm? Oh my gosh, I am so getting to that, Stacy. You just hold your horses. Um, so we're getting in new products, right? I mean, our fall's rolling around, things are really ramping up here at the store. Every day we're getting boxes of new stuff in. So if you want to, we, um, Josh has been putting up quite a few videos on Instagram and on Facebook uh, of box openings. So um, if you're looking uh, to see what's new at the U, you can go check out those uh, box opening uh, videos. So the pom-poms. I fell in love with these pom-poms uh, a couple of years ago and they came out with the colored ones this last year and I was so excited about. And they're alpaca. This is all alpaca and they are so light and fluffy. And I love them. Remember the little girl from the, what show was that? The Steve Carell did. What was that little Disney show? Uh, the nefarious guy. And they had the fluffy little unicorn. Oh, min uh... minion. With the minions. It wasn't, what, what uh, is it? Anybody out there know? Come on. It's Mary, Robert, anybody know what that movie is that we're trying to think of? Despicable Me. Despicable, Despicable Me. Anyhow, it reminds me of a fluffy little unicorn. 
So anyhow, look, check this out. It has a snap on it, see? And then you snap it on, and there it is. And it's got a really good snap, doesn't go anywhere. So check this out though. See that? All these pretty colors, right? And I went walking by the wall yesterday and they had some brand new colors in. And I saw this on the wall and grabbed it right off the wall and said, this one is going home with me. And this is why. Look at how pretty that is. I have so many awesome colors in this hat. You can put almost anything with them. So I thought that I love this new color. It's sort of a kind of a tealy blue. I love that tealy blue color. Um, so that's teal blue. And then I was leaving my house this morning and it was a little chilly when I went out to start my truck. And I thought, Ooh, what a wonderful day to go put on a nice flannel. So I went back in and I got my favorite fall flannel. All right. Which the orange, uh, little ball works quite well with this, but I thought, you know what? I could even go with this. Okay. Come here, Mr. Snap. They snap on real well. Look at that purple. Look at that purple, how it draws the purple out of that hat. And it even seems like it pulls some of that brown out. So these pom-poms are amazing and they are incredibly versatile. I am gonna, I got a couple of friends of mine um, that I am going to knit a hat up for and I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna put like three pom-poms in with the gift so they can change it up whenever they want to. We're going back to orange. Oh, hey, and then I got one of these cute little doobies here. Yeah, we're a little twisted, as you know, just a little bit. Um, let's see, other colors. So we have pretty blue. We have this really dark, like royal blue. It's just gorgeous, which would, guess what? Look great with this hat. I love all the different colors. I, it absolutely is. This one would be amazing. Oops, sorry. This one would be amazing with this hat. Look at that. And that's actually, this berry is one of my favorites too. I, I love them all. I'm sorry. The green, that would go. Sure. I would even, I would even put the yellow on it. Look at that. So great Christmas gift idea or just something for yourself. But I love these pom-poms. They are so soft and light. You're going to love them. Come in, check them out. All right, I've made a big mess here. Big pile of pom-poms today. Hmm. Okay, um, so we have the pom-poms. We also got in, and these were really, you guys really enjoyed these last year, so we got some more in. Uh, and we got the hat kits from Toft. So there's the lock hat, and then we got the strata hat. Uh, everybody seemed to really enjoy these. So we gotta, we're doing it again this year. So come on in and check those out. We have lots of new yarn coming in. So please come in, check out the videos uh, and see what we have. Um, moving on to the big sweater weather get together announcement. Yes, I know many of you have been waiting for this information. So here we go. And we've been really struggling. We've had several meetings on how are we going to manage this this day and age, right? Uh, and what we're dealing with at the moment. And so what we've decided to do is that we really, really want to meet in person. That I just love being able to connect with the people. Um, although, it, you know, it's just hard to do these days. So this is what we've decided to do. We're going to do a little hybrid. Um, a little hybrid. Uh, we're going to have some people in store, and then we're going to have a virtual uh, option as well. So this is what we're going to do this year. Um, we're going to sell 15 tickets at $50.00 to come in person and you get the swag. So you get to come into the building, be a part of everything in here, and you get the swag. Uh, and then we're gonna sell 15 tickets at $40, and that is to view it virtually, and you get a swag pack, okay? And those of you, so those, once those tickets are gone, they're gone. We're only doing, you know, uh, 30 total swag bag tickets. Um, but if you wanna just, you know, tune in and, and be a part of it because it's a lot of fun. 
You know, we're working really hard right now. Uh, we have probably 10 garments that we're getting knit up in new yarn, some old, most of, a lot of new stuff. Um, and it just kind of sets the tone for our whole season. Uh, we have three new yarns that we'll be launching. Uh, we're gonna have Teresa Caruso. So we're gonna do, we do a photo shoot and we're gonna go out to Teresa Caruso's place. Uh, she's got an adorable sheep farm um, over on the uh, other end of town. And, um, and we're gonna do the photo shoot there and shoot some videos and stuff and, and maybe have Teresa Caruso is going to uh, be available for questions. And we can talk to her a little bit about what it's like being you know, raising sheep and having that be a part of your life and how she got into that and so on and so forth. So I'm really excited about that. She is super fun. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, $10 from every ticket sold is going, we're going to donate. And so we've been thinking a lot about that, you know, where, where's the best place that we can, you know, uh, put these funds right now, where are they needed the most? And, um, and, you know, between hurricanes and fires and COVIDs and there's, believe it or not, a lot of options. Um, but so we kind of settled on one that's near and dear to our hearts. Okay. Uh, Alexandra from uh, Alexandra, the Art of Yarn is a, a big part of, of our store in our community. Um, as you know, you guys just have, have supported her and loved her and, and as we have. So uh, I was on the phone with her and chatting with her, who she is actually displaced right now, having to stay uh, at a friend's house until it's safe for her to go home because the fires are affecting, uh, you know, the area that she lives in. And she's got a few knitters that, you know, have been a part of her life for years. They have absolutely lost everything. So she started a GoFundMe page. Um, and so uh, Chadwick put a link in there. You are uh, happy, I, you're welcome, obviously. Please go uh, if you'd like to just donate um, to that to help out uh, the victims of these fires um, and learn more about it. Uh, but that's where we're gonna do, that's what we're gonna do with our $10 from every ticket sold. We'll go to, uh, we'll go to this GoFundMe page uh, with Alexandra. So thank you, Stacy. We kind of thought it was a pretty good one too. So anyhow, um, did I mention, I think I started to talk. I don't know, those of you that know me know I have a lot of squirrels. See this guy back here? See this guy back here with his hands up? That's my head squirrel wrangler right there. He's getting a coffee cup for Christmas with that title. Taylor, I will explain tickets again because I, I just uh, realized I think I left a little bit off on that. So 15 tickets at $40. Um, and that ticket, uh, you get to come into the store for the event and you get a swag bag. Okay. I meant $50 because the next one's 40. Sorry. $50 to come in the store with a swag bag. 40, you get 15 tickets at $40. Um, and you will zoom in, uh, but you will also receive a swag bag, uh, through the mail. And then if you, once those are gone, they're gone. But we thought, let's just open it up to uh, anybody else that might want to come virtually since we have that tool. And so we're going to sell uh, tickets just to come in virtually for $25. So that's the ticket structure. I hope uh, it made sense. Um, you know, it's so funny. People are, always ask me if I will teach them how to knit. And I say, listen, I can give it a try. I said, I don't teach, I confuse. So um, I apologize. If you need more clarification, please reach out and ask. Um, so that's that. Oh, and with this ticket purchased to this event, everybody gets a one-time 10% uh, discount on their total purchase. So, you know, with those of you, that, the 15 people that are going to be in the store, get to pick out the yarn, get to see it, get, you know, or get a shot at the colors. Um, and then those that are coming in virtually, you can go online and order or come in later um, and you'll have a code that will be one-time use, and you can come into the store and, and use that then. So that's the discount. Did I miss anything, Chadwick? Nope, I think you got it. Oh, I think I got it. Am I talking too fast? Probably. Slow it down a little bit. So um, when the whole shutdown thing started to occur, we came up with this uh, concept of the bliss box. 
And it was just kind of a way for us to generate some cash and it was a way for us to move some product um, that you maybe wouldn't normally look at. Um, and and so you, you purchased this mystery box and you just got what you got. And you know what? I consider it a complete success because not one person asked for their money back. So I, am, I, I feel like we did a good job of picking yarns, picking product and, and filling those boxes up um, as much as we could uh, um, and got those out. So we thought, what if we did something like that for Christmas? So we're gonna do a Christmas bliss box. Uh, same kind of concept, it's a total mystery. We're gonna have three different uh, price levels, price points. We'll have a $100 box, a $50 box, and a $25 box, right? And so this is the fun part. We're gonna wrap it, whatever kit you buy, we'll wrap it in a wrapping paper, put a little bow on it, and then we'll ship it out. And you can either open it right then there if you want to, or you can put it on your tree and open it on Christmas. Or you can buy one and send it to your friend or your mom, or, you know, the neighbor. They're just kind of fun little things and you don't have to, you know, put in, you don't have to think about it. You just get to, you just, you buy the box and it is what it is and and you're gonna get some great yarn and some fun little things. So look for those. Those will be available on October 1st um, and then through, and then we ship on December 7th. So, um, so be watching for those. We're really excited about that. Those are gonna be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right, so I wanna remind everybody that we have a um, baby gear contest that's coming up. The entries are due on October 10th. Uh, we will have an event on October 17th. Uh, there will be prizes given at this event and it's just for those contestants, so we gotta keep it kind of small. Um, Chadwick, is it opening time? We have 10 more minutes. We have 10 more minutes. So you have people at the door. 10 minutes and we'll be open. Uh, so get your stuff in for the baby contest. Hats. I think we have a couple of different categories where you can do a hats and, and booties or a garment or a blanket. Um, what's that? When are they due again? They are due October 10th is when they are due. And then, and then we'll do judging the next week, both in store and online. We'll set up a little album. We'll take pictures of everything, set up a photo album, and you know, we'll uh, however many likes you get, right? Whoever gets the most likes um, wins. So, anyhow, please get your garments in. Knit something up real quick. They're just baby stuff. They're small, right? Anyhow. Anyhow, that'll be a fun contest. We're excited to uh, excited to have that one done. So get your stuff in. Uh, call if you have any questions. Um, so Chelsea said she wants to contribute two skeins of yarn to the uh, giveaway today. And um, since she's not in, she said just pick two skeins. And you know what? I thought, hmm, maybe I'm not going to pick. Maybe I'll let whoever wins pick. So, you get two skeins of yarn, whoever wins. So you either have to, I think we have everything, do we have pictures of everything online? Yes. We got pictures of everything online. If you can't come in, uh, otherwise if you can, awesome. Get your butt in here and check out the yarn. All right, so, it's drawing time. I got my big glass vase with all the little names in it my whirlwind of names. Okay, winner is Barbara Kissy. Congratulations, what a win a chicken dinner. So you let us know, and I think I saw you on here earlier, so I hope you're still watching. You let us know what it is that you're gonna, if you want them shipped or if you can come in, uh, how you wanna do it. So. Everybody, um, I think we're, we're wrapping it up. We're done. That's all the information I've got um, for the moment. So thanks for tuning in and come on in. Hey, watch those unboxing videos that Josh is throwing out there um, um, and the new products that are coming in. So everybody, y'all uh, stay twisted and safe and I hope to see you soon. Bye, Chadwick says bye. Mm -hmm.